Hello everyone, my name is FedEx Gaming and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to build my very simple piston elevator. So if we come right inside our elevator over here, get in between the block and the water source, click this button. We will get elevated to the top of our elevator. Once we are up here, we could do whatever we want. However, all I have is a nice little view of my other elevator that goes all the way to the sky barrier. Once we are done, we just swing back over here and where our water source is, just drop right into it and then go on your merry little way. You will not die on survival from that water source. So now let's go ahead and look at the redstone. Now there is not much to this thing, hence the name. There is only a torch ladder and a few pieces of redstone dust that activate the pistons on the outside. Now over here, I have the one that goes all the way to sky barrier. Now the reason why I did this is just to give you guys a heads up on a few things about piston elevators on the console. One, they are extremely laggy. Two, they are very laggy. And three, when the pistons are retracting back in, a lot of bad things can happen. Now what that means is it won't just go right to the sky barrier. I have the same design I have here over here. However, I will never make it to the sky barrier on this design. The reason for that is when the pistons are going up and retracting back in that generates a lot of lag and you will fall through the elevator. So I'm going to show you right now what I mean. We're going to get right here in between the water source and the normal block. We're going to click this button and either two scenarios can happen. One, I'll magically get all the way to the top and it will be amazing or two. I'll get stuck halfway or get stuck right away and nothing will happen, which is most likely going to happen. So we're going to click this button. And we're going to go up and we're going to get stuck right away. Oh, we're still going up uh, uh, and we got stuck. As you can see, now the reason for that is because the pistons are retracting while they are going up, causing a lot of lag. So now what I'm going to have to do is change a few things on the inside just to show that you can get to the sky barrier with this elevator. Now, what I did was I added in a hopper timer. Now, what the hopper timer will do is it will keep the redstone on for a short amount of time so you can reach all the way to the top before the pistons start retracting. So what I'm going to do now is hook up my hopper timer by adding a piece of redstone dust here, swing over to this side and delete this redstone dust over here. So I'm showing you now, if you want to make it go to the sky barrier, here's what the hopper timer looks like right here. All it is is two comparators, two hoppers in the middle that have items funnel in between each other, a sticky piston with a block of redstone in front of it and two pistons over here. The reason why I have two pistons over here is sometimes this one will get stuck. So this one updates it so it won't get stuck. So now, we should go a pretty good distance or we might make it all the way to the sky barrier. So we're going to come right inside here with our hopper timer hooked up. Stand right in the middle between the water source and the normal block. Click the button and now let's see how far we get. So we are going up now. Like I said, guys, we still might not make it all the way to the sky barrier. However, we have a higher chance of making it. Now, this all depends on how many items you put inside your hopper dropper timer as well. I highly recommend putting about 32 in there to reach the top. I'm pretty sure I have 28 in there right now, but 32 will make it usually will usually make it so you can reach the top. So. Wow, we actually almost made it. And boop, as you can see, we have fully made it to the top of it. All right, guys, so for this build, you're going to need a four by five spacing. And you're also going to have to have enough room to dig down too. Now, if you're going to be doing that hopper timer, you're going to need enough room to dig down three as well. Now, the resources you're going to need for the input are one redstone repeater, two redstone dust, one button, and one block of choice. I'm going to be using pillar quartz block. And you know what? Also grab your water bucket as well. That's just so you can get off the elevator. Now the resources you're going to need for the actual elevator itself for each individual layer are two sticky pistons, three regular pistons, two redstone torches, seven redstone dust, and one stone slab. So once you have gotten your 4x5 spacing, come to the bottom right hand corner and place in a block of choice right here with a button to the left hand side of it. This is going to be our startup for our elevator. Next come to the side of the block and dig down two, one, two. Do it again, one, two, and one more time, one, two. Then right underneath the block with the button, delete this block and place in a piece of redstone dust right underneath it. Then coming out of the block with the redstone dust, place in a repeater going this way on four ticks delay. Put a block in front of it with a piece of redstone dust on the opposite end of that block. So when I click this button right here, all of this redstone should light up. Now that we've gotten our input in, we can go ahead and start up on our elevator. So right over here next to this redstone dust, delete down two blocks, one, two. And then delete down two blocks to the left hand side as well one two then right next to the redstone dust place in a block with a torch coming off the side of it then on top of that redstone torch place another block with another redstone torch on top of this block it should go off due to the torch down there so if i click this button that torch should come off. then coming off of this off torch place in a sticky piston with another sticky piston to the left hand side next place in two regular pistons upwards off the two sticky pistons and then off the left sticky piston place another regular piston facing towards your right one. What this one will do is update the left one. Next, go to the backhand side of your build, then right on top of the off torch, place another block with a block next to the off torch like that. Next, place a piece of redstone dust on top of this block, and then swing this redstone dust going all the way over here to this piston facing upward. So one, two, three, 
take out your blocks of choice i'm going to be using quartz blocks and put it right in front of your redstone dust then we're going to swing over here to the right hand side and then coming off of this off torch we're going to bring our redstone dust going all the way over here next to this piston facing upwards so one two three and then put your block of choice right in front of it so now we can go ahead and test it out so when i click this button everything should extend out and extend up and the only thing that should happen is this left hand side should not get fully retracted in so we're going to click the button they all extend up and this one doesn't get fully retracted in so when, how to fix that is we're going to come right over here and then off the block that our torch is under we're going to place a redstone torch off the side of it put a block on top of the on torch with another torch to the side of it this torch should go off place another block above this off torch put a block to the side of it a block next to your piston with a slab coming off the left hand side upside down next take out your redstone dust and place in three redstone dust here now what that's going to do is activate this piston thus making everything get retracted so we're going to click the button all extends out extends up and everything gets retracted back in now to make this thing go much much taller we're just going to keep copying this same step over and over again so right off this off torch place in two sticky pistons one two place in two regular pistons facing upwards one two and then we're going to put a piston to the side of it off this one then we're going to bring out this block one more with a piece of redstone dust on top of it take out your blocks of choice put it right in front of it swing onto this side and where this off torch is come out three blocks one two three three pieces of redstone dust one two three with two blocks of choice in front of it one two and that's a whole nother layer done so when i click this button everything should extend out and this one should not retract so to fix that we're going to do the same exact thing so right off this block we're going to place a torch to the side a block above the torch a torch to the side this torch should go off put a block above your off torch block to the side block next to this piston with a slab upside down right here and three pieces of redstone dust so that should retract in now so click the button it all extends out and then all retracts back in now to make this thing go much taller and figure out what height you want it to go to just come over here to your torch ladder and literally keep bringing it up every single one of your off torches is another layer for your elevator so right now we would have three complete layers so i'm going to bring it up so that we can go up uh let's say we i'm going to make it go up five layers so we got we already have two so one two three four we're gonna go up another layer so over block over here up one and then one here as well so that's going to be five complete layers so off every single one of your off torches place in two sticky pistons so one two one two and one two like that then we're gonna put our piston to the side of it above it one two one two one two and then put some pistons facing upwards one two one two one two now we're gonna do the same thing we did off of every single one of those down there we're gonna do the same exact thing bring this out of block put a piece of redstone dust in front of it and then bring out a block in front of it and now you really don't have to follow that whole entire thing just put your blocks right above this redstone so literally just go like this one two three put redstone dust here one two three put redstone dust here one two three put redstone dust here and the same thing applies to this side as well so you're gonna go one two and then put a slab upside down with a block next to it and do the same thing again block block slab and then block next to it like that it's going to be the same thing over and over again guys and then just put redstone dust along all the tops of them and these blocks up here don't forget those blocks right there and same thing on the side add all your redstone dust then take out your blocks of choice and then just fill it right up guys it's going to be the same exact thing over and over and over again same exact thing so now when i click this button everything should extend out and this one should not get retracted up here so we're going to click the button everything extends out and goes up and then this one won't get retracted here now the reason why this one's doing this as well is because we have to add in that last one for this part so everything gets retracted back and so come right over here above your off torch place in a block put a torch to the side of it a block above the torch same thing over and over again guys block to the side block above the off torch block over here block next to the piston slab upside down and then put redstone dust all along this now the cool thing about this elevator is if you ever want to extend it out more just keep doing the same thing guys you never have to do anything different for the top of it it's just the same thing over and over again so now this should fix it so we come down here click the button everything gets extended out and now everything should get retracted back in so now all you have to do is just take out a block you want to fill the front with i like using glass just so you could see inside of it and outside of it while going up it so just bring up your glass or whatever you're using all the way to the top to the same level of your last pistons and then just bring it all the way down now this is for glass if you're using glass just bring it all the way down so you can get inside of the elevator next what i like to do is take out my block of choice i'm using pillow quartz i'm gonna bring it all the way to the top of it like this same thing with this side bring it all the way to the top of it now the reason why i told you to keep it the same height as your piston is if you're using glass if you're not using glass and it doesn't really matter we're just gonna have to come up one more block so i like coming up one more block like this and then swing it this way and that's going to be the height of your elevator next we're just going to bring these blocks all the way around the top of our elevator like this and that's it you are completely done guys so if we come down here get in the middle 
click this button we will get extended all the way to the top of our elevator completely fine now what we have to do is just fill in the middle parts with some whatever well whatever block you're using i'm using pillow quartz we're going to fill in the whole entire middle area do not place blocks in front of that piston or else it's going to push stuff out and break it and then right down here we're also going to add in our water source so take out your water bucket and place in your water source like that and you are completely done that is everything with the elevator completely done so click the button go up it and then when we're going down go right into our water source and that is it guys so now all you have to do is fill this area and so you don't have to see anything over here so you know you can add whatever blocks you really want to so it looks like well not like this but you can add whatever blocks you want so you don't have to see the redstone and then if you ever want to extend it out more just do the same thing over and over again and if you want to make it go as pretty much high as the sky barrier just make sure you add in that hopper timer right down here i'll give you another look at it here's the hopper timer there is a total of 34 items in there sorry so 32 to 34 items you should make it all the way to the sky barrier but that is what it looks like so if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace